Oh boy. Well, welcome guys. So, sorry it's been a while since I've uh, done a video. Just want you to know that the E210 Corolla has been fantastic. So, no issues or complaints there. Um, I just wanted to start the series. This will probably be, I would say, the first episode um, of of a HPDE or new track newbie uh, because I am very new. Um, so far I've had about, I've had four total track days. So when I say a track day, that usually encompasses four classes and four sessions with NASA. So I signed up with NASA Pro Racing and I booked my events through there. Um, so I've had two, I've had a weekend at Summit Point, two sessions, two full days, and I've had two sessions at New Jersey Lightning, um, but separate days um, so but anyways just kind of sharing what I'm learning as I go uh, my recent um, experience at lightning was in March uh, which was also with my very my brother's very first time I actually uh, have been building this Honda fit for me to learn manual and also to start taking to a track and I actually let my brother John use it so that video is coming soon so stay tuned for that that will be released I can't wait to see it I have been working with it on my cousin has been working on and editing so I'm very excited to see and share it with you guys. Um, but anyway, so this first episode, we're just gonna talk about uh, brakes. So, um, uh, learning about how they work and everything. So, one thing that I, the major thing I started realizing when I was driving, since the car's brand new, it was fine. So when I took it to Summit, uh, it worked fine the whole weekend. No brake jitter and pulsation. So this is the issue, this is what I started having. Um, I changed my front brake pads and what happened was when I went to Lightning, uh, New Jersey, my first time at Lightning, uh, it was great. But what happened before Lightning, I did switch out the pads, the Duralast pads. So OEM pads were gone, put the Duralast pads on. And that's it, I just did a straight swap uh, and that was it. So everything was riding fine. Uh, they didn't require, require any bedding process or anything. So uh, I drove. Uh, Three sessions were great. My last session of the day, the fourth session at New Jersey, I started feeling brake judder or like pulsation. And uh, at the end of the track, which you can see the session, um, my instructor Ismail said, uh, hey, you might uh, wanna check your rotors, probably need new rotors. Good. I think you're gonna need the front rotors. Oh, front rotors? Yeah, probably. Uh, but they look fine. So they're still factory rotors. Um, so I did that. So I actually bought new slotted rotors from buybrakes.com, these are actually custom made uh, because I originally ordered a set from StopTech, uh, from Tire Rack, StopTech from Tire Rack. And when they sent it to me, it was the wrong size. It was actually like an inch too small. So just a heads up, if you're looking for rotors for your Corolla hatch, make sure it's like 11.1 inches. Otherwise, if it's anything smaller, it's not gonna fit. Um, that's as far as I, my experience was with my 2020 SE hatchback. Um, so, so I was like, okay, well, I'm getting pulsation, that's weird. Uh, so I looked, I switched, I got the rotors, swapped them out. And so what I did, when I swapped the rotors out, this was probably around maybe January, uh, I put the rotors on with the Duralast, okay? So Duralast and rotors and slotted rotors. Use them for a while, uh, everything's fine, normal driving. And then I decided, you know what, let me try some different pads. The EBC green stuff. And it's hard to find uh, pads for this car so far. I, I couldn't find any Hawks but they do have EBC green stuff and EBC yellow, so I will probably try to try the yellow stuff next after these greens are gone. Uh, the greens aren't really main for the track, just so you know, um, but I'm gonna try, I'm trying them out anyways. So I went to, this is my fourth track day, New Jersey Lightning, my instructor was Dylan, who was a beast, thank you Dylan. Uh, you can follow him on Instagram, here's his Instagram here. Uh, make sure you follow him, he is great, uh, just very, very calm, very precise, instructing, and just, you know, he, he was great. Highly recommend him. If you get him, you are in good hands. Um, and he actually also promoted me to two, which is also mm, such a great feeling. Thank you, Dylan. Uh, uh. Um, so yeah, so I started noticing the brake jetter and pulsation um, on the green stuff. And, and the same, I did the same thing. Slotted rotors, took off the Duralast, put the green stuff in, that's it, didn't do anything, drove. Everything was riding fine like normal, normal driving. Um, and then when I, on the third session, I started feeling a uh, brake pulsation, like, you know, shaking, and it actually caused the camera to go down in my fourth session, which you'll, you can see in the video if you watch the full session, it's, it was annoying. 
But I was like, why is this, why is this pulsation coming back? This kind of is coming back on a third session, not even a fourth session yet. So something is wrong. They're not, I know the rotors aren't warped. Um, so that's when I started doing more research. And I asked them, all my friends, they're like, just keep breaking hard. It'll go away, it'll smooth out. And, and I did, and it just, it just wasn't going away. It was still doing that pulsation. So I finally did some research online. I saw people doing sanding, using like an 80 grit sander or sanding the, the rotors. I was like, okay, well, let me try that. So I did try that on my OEM flat rotors and the Duralast pads. So I'm actually, I have a set of rotors and pads to work together. So for the track, I'm gonna use these slider rotors and the EBC greens. So my theory is, uh, you know, I, did, I just learned, I don't know why it took me forever to learn this, but when uh, you, you change a new pad with the rotor, there's like, I guess a, you wanna say a honeymoon stage or a mating process uh, where that brake material imprints on that new rotor and that's what creates that, that nice, smooth, even uh, material. So if you still got the material on there and then you put a new brake pad on with the new material, say your second wife or something like that, and you're trying to, you know, have some fun, but something is still there that's causing you to not get in as good. Um, but, and that's what's happening. So you're trying to, I'm, I was sitting here trying to bed uh, new pads onto rotors that have already been previously used or mated with. Um, so this, I came across this rotor honing process. I was like, what the heck is a rotor honing? And then it's just, it's only, there are very few videos on it, so I just wanted to share my experience with it. It's like a drill bit with like a bunch of little metal heads on it, and uh, and it looked awesome. It, and what it did, what it does, it looks like it creates these little these little grooves across the whole rotor, uh, and it kind of removes the old breaking material. So when you get your new pads, you, you, the the pads have a nice fresh surface to to mate with and bond with. Um, so I decided to try it. So now I just finished doing that, and now I'm starting the bedding process over again with the EBC green. So um, uh, to see how that goes. So I'm gonna drive out 200 miles and see how it goes. If um, I get a chance to test it out on the track, I will definitely update the video. Um, but I don't know if I'm going in May yet or not. It depends how my funds look. You know, fun, that's always a struggle right there. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm very excited. Um, very, very excited. Uh, to uh, see if it makes a difference. If it does, then that's awesome, and I can just share with you guys, just say, hey, I found the issue. It's the damn brake material stuff. So it was just great to take the car apart and actually learn this stuff uh, about how that stuff functions. Um, and uh, that's it, so uh, that's all for now. Uh, like I said, everything's been going well. I just started watching that F1 Formula show, uh, Drive to Survive. That is a, that's a good show, that's intense. I'm on season two right now, um, but it's awesome, I love it. Um, so I've been watching that. I don't know if you guys seen or have been watching, um, but yeah, that's great. Uh, other than that, uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I did show an overview of how to, how I did the running, uh, uh, rotor honing process with the drill bit. Um, they said don't use too high of RPM on it. And, um, you know, I'll make sure I'll link the stuff in there if you want to try it out as well. Um, as far as removing the calipers and rotors, it's very easy on the Corolla. Uh, it's literally, I mean, you jack the car up, uh, it's two caliper pins, which are 14 millimeter bolts. Uh, make sure you do get a very thin, like 17 millimeter um, open wrench because the, the standard size won't fit. So you need, I had to get a thin one. So it holds the caliper pin in case it starts spinning with it. So that comes off and then two 17 millimeter bolts remove the caliper. Um, and then the, uh, the rotor itself, uh, I tried to hammer it, the OEM ones, there's little dents in it, don't do that. Use, um, I forgot what size the bolt is, but you get these two bolts, I think it's like M, M8 or something like that, and you just drill into the hole um, on the rotor and it will push the rotor off of the, um, off the hub. So that, I remember going, that's the best way to do it, if it doesn't like easily come off. Um, but yeah, that's it. Um, Anyways, I hope you guys are doing well. I am very happy with the Corolla um, and you know, looking forward to learning more at the track. So my next day, if I sign up at Lightning, I'll be signing up as two um, and just learning more about it. Um, but yeah, that's it. Hope you guys are doing well. I will say, um, oh yeah, the GR Corolla. I do want to talk about the GR Corolla. Uh, that thing looks awesome. Unfortunately, I don't think I will be getting one just cause I mean, I mean I'm trying to get a house next maybe but 
we'll see. By the time I pay this off, maybe I can get a roller, but for now I want to learn as much as I can with the fit, take it out on the track, take out a manual, um, and then possibly either case swap it or get into like an RSX Type S. It'll be like a 05, 06 body style, um, just to keep learning manual. Uh, and it's just because I like naturally aspirated too. So as much as I love the GR Corolla, I hope it, I do hope it does very well because it's really like the, the, the first pure Toyota car developed by Toyota, like all Toyota. So it's very exciting and I really hope it does well. And, um, and I look forward to seeing them on the road and at the track. So anyways, hope you guys are doing well and uh, we'll see you in the next uh, video. Take care.